Hello, welcome, welcome back for those who are frequent visitors. Welcome to those who are first timers. My name is Shalana Janelle, preacher, singer, songwriter, and author. Today, I wanna to talk about four tips for fasting. Comfort and King, your majesty. I wanna give you four tips for fasting. Tip number one. Go in with sincere intentions on communing with the Lord, communing with the Holy Spirit, getting to know him better, uh, sitting at his feet and learning of him. Okay. The Bible says to present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And you want to present yourself as a living sacrifice when you are going into fasting. So that is tip number one. Go in with sincerity and with a mind set on communing with the Lord and presenting yourself, your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Tip number two. Pray constantly and consistently, okay? The Bible says to pray without ceasing. And when you go into a, a uh, posture of fasting and prayer, it is fasting and prayer, not just fasting or not just prayer. It is fasting and prayer. So they go hand in hand. So make sure you are praying consistently and constantly, whether it is in your heart, whether it is on your break, if you happen to have a nine to five job or any type of job, or whether it is um, in between fixing meals for your family or for your children, but also make sure you set aside some personal alone time with the Holy Spirit as well. Some set aside time, you know, it that varies between each and every person and how much time you may particularly have to set aside but set aside some actual personal time between you and the Holy Spirit as well amen and remember to pray without ceasing tip number three listen for instruction Oftentimes when we fast, the Lord gives us instruction and direction for maybe the next move, the next season we are going into. Sometimes he gives us a, a mandate. Um, and so you want to be able to make sure you have a listening ear to what the Holy Spirit is saying. The Bible says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Okay? So you want to make sure you can hear what the Spirit is saying to you because you are a part of the church. Okay? You are a part of Christ's body, a part of his overall church. So you want to make sure you're listening to the Lord. Lord, where are you leading me? Where are you directing me? Is there something you are telling me because you want me to go in a new direction or you want me to continue the pace that I'm going at? So make sure your ear is open, okay? He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And you are a member of the church, okay? Tip number four, do not fast for carnal reasons okay don't fast for carnal reasons <laughs> meaning don't fast because you have come to the conclusion that you feel like you need to lose weight or anything like that okay we fast to be in communion with the lord we fast for spiritual reasons not for carnal reasons of things like that you know it's not like a a diet okay so when you if you fast for the purpose of losing weight that's not a fast it is a diet okay so no matter what the world calls it i know the world has called all these things and all these diets fasts but according to the scripture fasting is not a diet so if you do something for the purpose of losing weight then you are on a diet not a fast so remember remember to not be carnal when it comes to your fast okay but be spiritual be spiritually minded okay amen so those are my four tips about fasting i hope they blessed you i pray you use them i pray that as you go on your journey of fasting and praying in your lifestyle of fasting and praying that the lord continues to take you higher and he continues to take you from faith to faith and glory to glory which i know you will because if you are living a lifestyle of sincere fasting there is only up that you can go up in the spirit higher in the things of god and god will take you to places that you have never even dreamed of going places that are just so amazing in the spirit and I pray the blessing of the Lord over you and I pray that as you fast that God reveals to you everything pertaining to your life pertaining to godliness for his word says that he will reveal to us he get, he's given us everything pertaining to life and godliness and so I pray over you the blessing of the Lord I pray over you peace I pray over you the endurance to be able to complete your fast 
not just start it, to be, but to be able to complete it, to be able to be consistent in the things of God. And I pray that you just continue to be all that God has called you to be. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you guys all for tuning in. I pray those tips blessed you. You have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day. In Jesus' name.